Hello and welcome to the Cobalt Cafe. It's Saturday night and we're doing an impromptu addition to our Thursday night science fiction. Uh, so this we had is so much fun. We did have a lot of fun. Uh, so this is Star Wars Distant Suns, Chapter 3. Joining us tonight in whatever order I kind of randomly pick is Tom. Hey, I'm Tom. I played Jin, the uh, force using martial artist. Now I've actually read my powers more. I should know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tara. Hey, I am playing Pishi. Uh She is a force user of some kind, mysterious. Also, she's green. All right, and James. Hey, I'm James. I'm playing Vaughn. Alzars, Aslars. Uh, he is, he's a fighter pilot, gunslinger dude, who just learned that that thing that he does sometimes is actually called the Force. And, ever. Hello, I am ever. Thank you for you today, the uh, Evan, the Wookiee, who seems to be also multi-purpose for all types of guns. <laughs> uh, we'll do that one. I thought I had a card for that specifically, but I guess I do not. Okay. Um, so we open in the Cuddly Bantha, which is parked in space docks. Burly workmen are walking in and out. Um, Fix, uh, adding the new hangar bay. Yes. Should we roll our, roll our force? Oh, yes, yeah, let's start, that, yeah. start off with rolling the force. Good on ya. One dark side. Two light side. One light side. Uh, uh, uh. We're still waiting for one more. I think so. Yeah. Oh, no. They aren't stacking. Oh no. And one dark side. Okay. Excellent. And uh yeah, so you guys have been in these docks for close to a week. Um if you had any outstanding wounds, I think the the natural healing process of day to day plus the um plus the sage is is fairly well trained in the the healing arts and even if he isn't necessarily, um, sorry, I'm doing too many things at once. Uh, even if he isn't necessarily, um, you know, super well equipped, he can at least get you guys to an improved state. Mm -hmm. What, now, nobody wants the services of Dr. Vaughn? <laughs> Dr. Vaughn should have increased his intelligence to an appreciable level. <laughs> <laughs> okay so um vin soth is the name of the system you are in it is um notable because it's sort of like the intersection of several uh hyper hyperspace trade routes hyper lanes uh that's the sailing corridor uh Five and seven and six plus that little spur. Okay. The Ceylon spur. The Varagi trade route. Anyway, a bunch of bunch of major trade routes sort of either pass through here or branch off from their hyperspace lanes here. So it's a fairly um fairly major port. Uh you f have found a uh, ship worker who is able to or willing to trade one of the old X-Wings that you found at the uh, shipbreakers. Found. Stole. 
whatever. Um, acquired. 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 <laughs> uh, so he will, uh, he's willing to sort of convert the cuddly bantha, um, and some of its, uh, cargo space to a, a docking bay instead of, um, in, instead of cargo space in exchange for the, the T-65. Uh, additionally, you guys are, are able to sort of, uh, find some of the, uh, spend some of the, the credits that have been burning a hole in your pocket, uh, upgrading, uh, vehicles or armor or weapons or buying new ones altogether. Uh, Vaughn, I know you made a, a pretty large purchase of a couple of pretty pistols. Uh, I did indeed. Pesci. I am coming back right now with a box. Oh, right. Did I... Where are those? Is is it a box of rocks? I've been so excited to get my hand on a box of rocks. On the, I put it on the little drawing of, or next to the little drawing of the, on right in front of you there, Colin. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you uh, you can't see the GM screen that's entirely blocking that. <laughs> Uh, no, oh. we cannot see the GM screen. Uh, how many of these did you buy? Four. Which is actually kind of a shame, because I, I was using the GM screen from time to time myself. <sighs> like, he's got the, the fog of war there, so I felt no compulsion to not go and do some oh, math. Oh, yeah, is. there it is. Better? Yes. Okay. But yeah, I come back with a box like on a like uh, dolly. Just whistling. hover cart. Probably not hover. Literally, like. <laughs> uh um. All right. So Vaughn, I think you've also spent some time, uh, slowly repairing the the battle droids. Is that right? Yeah. Vaughn? I think that's what he said. James? I'm sorry. I, they were talking to me. What was the question? Battle droids. You've been slowly repairing the battle droids yes. that you... Yes. Yes. I, I would have been... I, I realized that I can do that. I will start working on the battle droids. Okay. I assume you want some kind of roll. Uh... Yeah, let's do a general one. Difficulty two... Um, just to see how, oh, here, okay, go again. It's a ledger dice from last time in it, and that confuses it. Ah, uh, okay, and I'm sorry, difficulty? Two. Do I get any boost or anything if I take time? Um, not necessarily, but this is more of a, like a general time roll, because you have okay. the skill. So, depending on how much you suck or succeed... Oh, there you go. Yeah. Wow. One threat, though. What's that gonna mean in this... Do I make one crazy? Looks clear. <laughs> it's just one threat. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Um... And you guys are shopping, and a couple of you um, have been spending some time with the Sage... Uh, that is the, which is the name of the old moon from uh, uh, who is offered to sort of tutor some of you in the ways of the forest. Uh, okay, it's tie tie X wing. Okay. Oh, that's just the ship group. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, has anybody else taken any time to do anything besides shop uh, while you are in the little port of? We say I am going to try to see uh, if our contact is still alive. He does. He gave us, he gave us a, like a contact information line, right? Yeah, you have like a comm correctly. frequency or something, but uh, he does not answer. Well, shit. Oh, everybody about a comm link? Yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I, I even bought the long range one. It was like a hundred credits. You guys can actually afford some shit now. Turns out that selling to ban a gas is not nearly as lucrative as killing Imperials for money. <laughs> okay. Uh, so as the repairs are being um, finished, or not the repairs, but the, the installation of the um, hangar, hangar space, and I'm still kind of debating on exactly what that looks like, because flying a fighter ship inside of something as, as small as the Cuddly Bantha is not going to leave a ton of room. Uh, uh, I almost feel like you can park it about, like, halfway in, and then, like, the shield needs to be up. That, that could be. I'll figure it out in my mind's eye. Whatever it is, you can now get into and out of your ships, your fighter ships, um, without having to, you know, do a spacewalk. Spacewalk. <laughs> okay. Um, so the, the sage asks all of you to... Eventually I'm going to come up with a floor plan for the Cuddly Bantha. But he asks all of you to, you know, like the, the dining area, which is the only place that has a chair and tables for everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and maintain doing a voice for this guy. So uh, he calls all of you together. If if we are ready to to begin our work, I have a location that where I would like to start. There is a small planet. Um, oh, I just lost it. God damn it. <laughs> All right, there there is a small planet called Zeus Zeus in the uh the outskirts of of wild space. Uh for years there was a uh uh uh, uh for years the the emperor would take his his vacations there and because of its location I have I have received intelligence that other uh, Imperial Remnant ships make regular visits to this planet. I would like to mount uh, an expedition there to, to see what we can find. Like, so, so we just want to go raid the Emperor's old summer house? I mean, yeah, it's probably got some good shit in there. I, I, I mean, not that I have a problem with it, just... There are no known structures on the planet, so I doubt that it will be quite so obviously a summer home, but obviously there is something of importance on that planet. Um, not sure if during the transit I could get some medical. Yeah, you're full. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah been, you're, you're at full. Oh, okay. It's been long enough that um, your body's natural healing plus plus the sage is, is okay at... Was that me or was that one of you guys? Oh, I know what was going on. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, on, um, before, right before we go, like just in the middle of the like food eatery area, I open a box and hit every, um, and just tap something three times, four times, and then tip it on its side. And so I imagine these all come spilling out. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so. In addition to the four battle droids, you guys now also have four of these little pit droids running around the ship. Uh, they speak in binary. Uh, they are a little clumsy, and they actually... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like, 
Keystone Cops or or like you know post vaudeville era slapstick comedy when I when I'm uh, using them. Are are they Larry, Curly, and Mo? There's four of them. There was a four stooge. Which one was the four stooge? Shemp. He replaced uh, Curly when Curly died. I, I think that's their names. Uh, but yeah, and then I, I, I just pop them out, and then <laughs> I'm like, they're not astromechs, but they'll get this job done. I, I actually kind of do that face palm thing. Oh. I think Not these things. <laughs> one of them waves, one of them salutes, one of them, like, loses his balance and stumbles into those two, while the third one does the same facepalm thing while looking at the three that are on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be fun. Uh, that said, they are, you know, trained mechanical droids, so... Yeah. Alrighty. So, hyperspace cool about is they talk travel. to each other through their um their comms. So they're like a hive unit. The more you have, the better they do. <laughs> they're like Voltrons. Yep. Dude, chicks like Voltron. The more you hook up, the better it gets. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is a point of diminishing returns. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are we doing? We are hyperspacing to Ziost. Z-I-O-S-T. Zost, maybe? Okay, so this is not in most navigational computers. It's not anywhere near a shipping, uh, a shipping lane or hyperspace, uh, hyperlane, hyper, hyper... Space route. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever you call the the major highways of of the interstate, or of the of the <laughs> of hyperspace, uh, it is not near. So it is going to require a, you know a couple of jumps and some astrogation. So who is going to plot this course? What does that come under? Astrogation. Astrogation. Not me. I'm actually okay at astrogation. Alrighty. Yeah, not Tara. I'm a one-trick pony. And not ever. Okay, then yes. Uh, sounds uh, like it's... Also, wow. Colin, you, you made that joke earlier about how I should have put more points into to Int. I, yeah. I mean, I, I put... It's at three. It, it is indeed at three. All right, so go ahead. I, I didn't do what Tara did and put all of my points in one thing. To be fair, I didn't put all my points in one thing either. I had to adjust some racial template things. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, so it's a difficulty two because you're not under any sort of like time pressure. Uh, I think you got one too many yellow die in there. Oh, I do. Yeah, sorry. All right, you know where the planet is, so it, it's not it's not super difficult. Well, well really indeed. Is. Okay, <laughs> so you get the the coordinates input, but you forget to or your nav computer doesn't have all the information and I think you get knocked out of uh, hyperspace early by we've already used asteroids twice some other sort of astronomical phenomena um, a particle cloud sure it's sort of like a space storm in this case so it's going to require a little bit of tricky flying to get out without taking any damage. Uh, so it's going to be a difficulty three piloting space. And um, I think for every every I failure, think... the ship is going to, to take some wounds. 
to it. Uh, I was probably sitting up there with him. Oh. Coco, shut up. Um, so I'm going to do the. Can I do a co-pilot uh, thing to give him a bonus? Sure. Or if he's in the, if he's in the the co-pilot seat because he was the one astrogating, then you could be in the pilot seat. Yeah, I think I have a little bit better, just barely chance. He's better at combat piloting. I'm better at generalized piloting. Okay, so co-pilot. Uh, so do difficulty I just is... make a pilot check as well? Yes, but Tara will go first. Um, on a successful check, each success downgrades the difficulty of the pilot's next piloting check by one. Okay. Yeah, so James would actually start. No. Oh, yeah. So difficulty is two. bad rolling all right yeah. so he doesn't help he does not help he's too busy being startled by the cloud uh turn right turn right tara turns left okay uh so go ahead difficulty three and the ship is just gonna take some some damage okay uh i think i did that right one two three yep Uh, yeah, so... Can I use that triumph to just do it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the triumph also automatically counts as one success. So, you do you do succeed. Uh, you do not take any damage, but there is a, a hairy moment where, like, you know, there's space lightning in front of you. Oh, God. And then... Turn right, turn right! Yeah. I go left. No, what did you do? Why did you do that? I go up, down, yeah. Okay. And, and at this moment, I'll look at Vaughn and go, you remind me again what your job was in, in during the rebellion. I was a fighter pilot. Uh-huh. That's, that's it. That's all I say. Statistically, I don't suck. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. I wasn't making fun of you, James. I was making fun of your character in character. I understand the dice hated you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys it, managed to to make it finally to uh, Zost. It is a very wild uh planet there is uh there are large barren deserts but there is also a power signature detectable from orbit in sort of this like it's a crater basically and the the walls of the crater kind of shelter a very lush uh forest very close to a rainforest it's it's the only you know planty area on the on the planet I think this we found our spot to it. <laughs> yeah I think we found our spot yeah uh what what's dude's name again Sage. Sage. Yes. About there, you think? He nods solemnly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> there is a clearing um near near like a crevasse where a, a river runs out of the uh the edge of the crater uh that is big enough for the the bantha to land we do that okay the going is not easy but uh hold on oh they're there Did 
If you just put us down, I can't see. No, you cannot see. For some reason, James's uh piece like there's a bigger gulf in the in the in the size. Like if I raise everybody's scale three times, he ends up way bigger than anybody else. Huh. Weird. Interesting. Okay. Are you calling me fat? Yes. <laughs> you see stuff now? Mm-hmm. Okay. And let's make it... What time of day should we make it? Night. Okay. Um... Anybody know the hex code for zero 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 zero? Purple. Oh, purple. Yes. Uh, it would be um, probably if I'm remembering my hex code correctly, like 8, something like. Uh, so I think the first one is red. Yeah, that works. So it would be something like ninety zero zero, probably like. Oh, you already found one. Okay. Oh, I just opened up a hex code finder. Why can I not click on this goddamn? Because it hates you. Uh, maybe you can only grab it when that menu is closed. No. Well, okay. Then the knight is coming from a, a slight offset direction. <laughs> <laughs> this actually works pretty well. For knight. Okay, cool. Alright, so. um, This is where you guys are, are the closest you guys are able to get sort of to the 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 power signature. Um, this river is not running quite this fast, but it is running awful fast. The, oh, you know what? I've got ambiance. Man, that river is really hitting that bridge. <laughs> oh! I'm less impressed with the water and more the, uh strength of that bridge if it's held up to that. Yep. Alright. Forest at night. <laughs> Sound of a piece. Sound of a light. <laughs> well. That tree's pretty close to that wall over there. There's probably some defenses. Should I go in and scout it out first, or do we just want to go in and get shot at a bunch? I mean, do we think there's going to be a lot of guys here? I... I don't think guys, but, you know, there are things like turrets and defenses. Okay, yeah, if you want to go get shot at a bunch, go for it. Hey! Give me that rope you have. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stealth my way over to that tree next to the wall. Okay. Uh, as you come up on the wall, you notice, um, like, along the edge of the wall and at the bottom are just l loads of dead, um small animals and insects like in piles and in various states of decomposition I'm gonna like grab something and huck it at the wall um it doesn't like spark or anything but whatever you throw at the wall is is smoldering and blackened when it touches the ground uh huh so does that branch go over the wall? 
It does not. In fact, where it touches the wall, or, you know, maybe a, a few a few inches as it, you know, would sway back and forth, um, it's, it's burned away. Okay. I'll, I'll walk back afterwards and go, yeah, wall is death. So, uh, <laughs> while she's away... Yes. I'll be, like, adjusting my new holsters and getting everything settled right. And, you know, drawing and getting used to the feel. <laughs> maybe just plucking a few away, like, yeah, ooh, I like these. Um, like, and then I'll look over at the other two, like, what... what what uh, what would you spend your shares on? Your armor mostly. Let's see if I get this. Place. Did Evan I... buy anything? Uh, just a uh, intercom. I'm saving for better armor. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, also... saving to become a tank. Yes. <laughs> uh, Apparently. Could I use survival? Maybe get a little hint. Sure. Uh, difficulty to a hint of what? Uh, way that we could use to get him. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna... Wall is death. I have an idea, though. Buzzball. Yeah, um... So... One of you is gonna hold on to one end of this rope. The fuzzball is going to alley-oop me, and I'm hopefully going to make it all the way over. Didn't you just right. buy Force Jump? Yeah, but I... Yes, okay. I okay. did. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the plan is a yeet. The <laughs> plan is a, a secret yeet. A secret yeet, yes, okay. Well, no, as far as we know, the plan is the Wookiee yeets this girl. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then we have a rope <laughs> that we can pull, you know, hold on to and pull ourselves over. Do you need a brawling? No, it's going to be athletics, but I don't know how much I actually need you to roll. It's probably nothing. Ooh, I'm just going to look at enhancement real quick. I'm just going to look at the character creator. It's going to be easier. Uh, force powers. Enhance. Oh, I already had it open. And you have horizontal leap, correct? Horizontal, not vertical yet. Make an enhanced power check. Oh, you might actually have to. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. But the E will probably help. Uh, but I need to roll a force, right? Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually have to bring up. I have the Age of Rebellion book up. But this is one... Oh, good timing. Come on. idle animation <laughs> yeah because yours is like uh an actual like animated asset ours are just gotcha like i could have animated mine because i custom mm -hmm. made mine but <laughs> yeah why <laughs> <laughs> it's a hell of a lot of effort <laughs> all right i need to mute you as much as i like my things oh that that's just a, okay and not an enhance a power check okay so what is a power check remembering the system Is that is that really it? Okay. 
All right, so then, yeah, it's not rolled as part of any other roll. You literally just roll the white die and can spend force points to do the jump. Ooh. Black. So you you can do it, but you have to tap into the dark side to do it. I'm fine with that. All righty. So, so I, 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 I go a little bit into the dark side? Yeah, so... Um... So which which emotion you know when it, it's obviously not going to be hate, but is it fear or recklessness? Yeah. Okay. So the the Wookie tries his hardest to throw you, and you just you know you kind of light up off of your your toes, and I don't have to roll anything to this. You do not. No. Because you're not I actually would... throwing her; she's using the force. You're. I'm literally just doing it, so you don't know I just did that. But what you know is that she was really light, and you yeeted the shit out of her. Yeah. <laughs> so, how about us other Force users? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we do everybody now? Ever, everybody but the Wookiee. Well, no, no, like, Wait, do we... can we tell if she used the Force, or...? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Okay. I don't think every force use like generates something like, oh wow. Okay. So yeah, I'll tie off my end of the rope, and then they can tie off their end, and then we can make like a pole break, you know. Okay. Um, the river is moving very quickly. So, um. Come on, can't you all slackline? Jeez. Yeah, it was okay. like coordination. Which I'm really yeah. good at. Yeah, alright. Mildly good at it. Uh, difficulty... Let me just look at the little chart over here. Picking a primitive lock, taking a minor cuts and bruises, finding food and shelter on a lush planet. Picking a typical lock, sticking small wound, finding food or shelter on a temperate planet. Uh, yeah, difficulty two. Coordination rolls. Coordination instead of athletics to climb. Well, you're no, you're using a rope tied between like this stone thing and this tree to shimmy across the water. Or slackline. Or slackline, if you're Tom. Would I have a better chance if I just uh, long jump it with athletics? Uh, you're, you're not going to be able to jump that far. The only reason that Pesci was able to jump that far is because she was secretly using the Force. Then never mind. Now, you could try and use Athletics to swim it, but it will be difficulty 3 instead of difficulty 2 because it is a fast-running uh, river. And because it's night, you have no idea what's in it. Yeah. I've got, of course, yeah, I've got the, uh, you know, remove two setbacks from that, but there we don't have any setbacks. Oh, <laughs> actually, yeah. Uh, one setback for it being night. Okay. But you don't, you don't None do that. <laughs> well, I'm going to be kind of stuck here because my best chance is the athletics because the cohesion is still too green with uh, difficulty two. I'm pretty sure I'll lose that one. Then uh, so try and swim. Do... Yeah, athletics will be swimming probably, or you know, swimming will be athletics. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna slack line across. Me... All right. I'll hold the line for you, so in case. Two successes, two advantages. Yep. All right. Piece of cake for the, yeah. for the ninja. <laughs> yeah. Walk across. James, okay. how are you doing? I'm actually going to. Uh. You say the water's moving swiftly? Yes. Let's see, what do I have on me? Got... Oh, I'm going to take my military belt pouch off. Okay. And I'm going to, like, throw it over the rope once. And I'm going to grab onto it and hop in the river and let the current just, like, slide me across. Okay. Um. 
I'm going to... No, you know what? Like... Yeah, I mean, you are you are wet, and so that might be a setback to something that might happen in the near future. But um, besides being sopping wet, you clamber out of the other side fairly easily. However, you could do the same thing if you got that a belt or something. No, no you belt. Have a belt? Um, uh, I just have the what's the name of the armor that I have. It's just battered armor, the one they have. I'm not sure if he has a belt. Well, what, what's your weapon? Weapon is just the Van Breakers and the uh, rifle. Oh, just use your rifle. Huh. Just to load? Or a big stick. Yeah, I mean, literally, you're just sliding along the rope, like... Oh, easy. Can I go here and just kick the tree in to make a, a bridge? No. No. Just, just no. grab a just, stick. Just, just do what Kyle just did. <laughs> James. James. Uh, yes. I mean, you I can try stick. and no, knock the tree over if you want. Can I? Yeah, I sure. Give me a difficulty for athletics. Can I use rolling instead? No. You're not fighting the tree. I thought it was. Uh, difficult to treat? Four. 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 <sighs> Three successes! Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Uh... terrified about the thing that you created. Yeah, right? Like, you've just created one of the worst hazards. <laughs> uh, hey, before you, before you, uh, walk over your new bridge, would, would you untie the rope? I'll go and untie it. <laughs> I'll pull it in. I mean, that's one way to do it. I set up the rope and everything, but no, he's got to kick over a damn tree. <laughs> uh, okay, so you like to think outside the tree. All right, so it you you are on the far side of the river. It's a pretty interesting looking uh, stone tablet of some sort. It's a little worn down, but that might be a skull in the middle. I poke the skull. You feel cold stone under your hand. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I? I'm just. What would it be to just try to figure out what's going on on it? Uh, um. Looks like some kind of warning to me. Yeah, let's see. Uh, also, you're going to have to education. delete the dice all our things. You're going to have to delete the what? All the dice in our things because the buttons don't work because you undid it. Oh, right. Uh, so, lore if you're looking for something mystical, or education if you're looking for the more... Uh... I will do lore. Okay. I'm going to stuck at this, but... Where is the lore? It's under the knowledge skills. Okay, look. So, um, what's the difficulty? Three. Who knows, I could get lucky. Uh... Whoa, yeah. Hey. Okay, it is Sith. Ancient Sith, not, not like Sith Sith. But, like, there used to be an ancient culture known as the Sith. They were Force-sensitives, mostly human. And um, while not a lot is known about them, uh, you, you do see some carvings that, that remind you of it. 
or that that are indicative of it. Indicative. Huh. Interesting. I'm not sharing. Or uh, nah, actually, I'll share. This is Sith. What's a Sith? I forget who I'm talking to. <laughs> Hmm. We must be cautious. Seriously, what, what what's the Sith? So like the the it's bad an ancient guys race. Versus... <laughs> it's an ancient race of force sensitives. Oh, you mean people like? Say. Oh. Anyway, we should probably. Launch off the top of a tree because this game's weird sometimes. <laughs> we yeah, going. this this forest here is especially a pain in the ass. So, um, no, you can keep the no, tree. no, leave it, leave it. Well, there's like what? Oh god damn it! Oh god damn it! The forest is trying to kill us. <laughs> There, there's one like it, it's a cluster of trees and <laughs> damn it, instead of being Whatever. a tree, it's a cluster of trees, which I thought was super helpful, but it turns out that um, the like the in collider it. in there is very unhelpful. Well, as right. long as you don't like run into things, you're fine. Uh. You're also gonna have to delete my dice again. Oh, you have dice sitting in there. Okay. Yeah, empty that dice bag, Colin. Well. If, uh. So, what was the problem with that wall? Just things. Death, electric death. Ah. So yeah, we don't really want to go over it. Nope. Well, we get, better go find a way back across the river then. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> See, you, you hear some, some, or you know what? Actually, you hear nothing. Is that that threat from earlier? The whole forest is suddenly quiet. And then a pair of beasts come running out of the underbrush at you guys. Uh, so you're going to roll your Vigilance, because you were surprised. And they are going to roll their cool... Constant Vigilance! Cunning, which is three. One success, two Jesus. Advantages. <laughs> okay. Did they seriously roll five? One of them did, yeah. Uh, what was it? Vigilance? Yes. Ah, vigilance. Yeah, the the skill layout is mildly confusing from time to time. Two advantages, one success. Uh, two, 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 one success. One, two advantages. Okay. Um, so the alpha, and we're going to call it the male, because I'm a horrible sexist. Uh, rushes forward. And attacks. Actually, it looks like she is slightly farther forward. Whoops. All right, and technically the furthest one forward is Jin up there. Yeah, <laughs> but I have the but I have the high ground. Jesus. Star Wars is like. 
a plus 40. Yeah. <laughs> All right, equipment, teeth and claws, brawl, damage 5, critical 4, range is only engaged, brawl. Okay. Oh, that's weird. They do their skills backwards. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually. Oh, no, it is there. And, um... Uh, difficulty for melee to melee is two. Yep. Three successes. Uh, so yeah, it deals eight damage just by biting you. Like, in the, in the leg. What's your soak? Four. Four. So you take four damage. Yeah. Four wounds. Alrighty, uh, Jin. All right, uh, got from above. <laughs> oh Jesus, uh, the white one. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna upgrade the difficulty. No, we're gonna add a add a setback because it's, you know, currently engaged in combat with Pishi's leg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, so the movement and then the engaging, uh, melee to melee is two. Two difficulty. Plus the setback. Uh, okay. Zero success, one threat, one triumph. Triumph. And so he gets it. So you get one success. Uh, what's your brawl damage? Uh, five. Uh, so six damage. What's it soak? Four, so it takes two damage. You can crit things, too. I uh, didn't get any ad ad advantages, though. You got a triumph. You got a oh, triumph. Yeah. So triumph oh, yeah. will let you... Do -do -do -do. Recover strain, add a boost to somebody's check, uh, negate targeted enemy's defensive bonus, which they don't have, ignore penalizing environmental effects such as inclement weather, zero gravity, or other similar effects until the end of the active character's next turn. Um, have the attack disable the opponent or one piece of gear rather than dealing wounds. Uh, gain defense until the end of your next turn. Uh, upgrade the difficulty of its next check. Upgrade on any allied character's next check. Any of those sound more appealing than... Critical. Okay. Um, no, just see what, we'll see what, crit, see what crit does. <laughs> Alright, D10, D100. So this is a easy check, an average check, I guess? Oh, it, it it rolls a percentile die per crit. Yeah. Uh, which is got rid of your fog of war, by the way. We can see everything in your zone now. Oh, really? Yep. Ah. There you go. Although our screen's gone again. Oh, Whatever. my lord. Okay. Uh, just move the screen a little there bit. Go. Okay. Like my... Uh... We got a thing called precision strike, which I can may suffer one strain to change the result of an any easy critical injury res, result. Change it to what? No, just like to you can may suffer one strain to change the result of any easy one. You know. Oh wow. Easy uh, okay, critical well, injury result. It rolled a four, so it got minor nick. Target suffers one strain. Your other options are slowed down, uh, off balance, distracted, uh, discouraging wound, stunned, or stinger. Yeah. Stunned would be nice. Yeah, what's, what's stinger? 
what's Stinger? Stinger is increase the difficulty of next check by one. I'll just go do stun. All right. Uh, I take the terrain. Other ongoing status effects. Staggered. A staggered character cannot perform actions, including downgrading actions or maneuvers. Uh, most effects that staggered character last for uh, duration. Okay. So, can't do actions, but can do maneuvers. For one, one round. Okay. Uh, who is after Jin? Uh, Pichy. Sarah. So, uh, I'm going to pull out the sniper rifle as for my moment and just put it straight up to the thing's head and pull the trigger. <laughs> uh, okay. So, short-ranged ranged versus... Uh, ranged heavy versus melee? Difficulty is four. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, I I'll do my sword. Okay. That's uh, melee versus melee difficulty, too. Yeah. So. One, two, three, four, one. Difficulty two, you said? Yes. Okay. Three successes, two advantages. Okay, so what's your damage? Four. Uh, so you do three damage. And... For my uh, thing, I will give the Wookiee a bonus. Okay. Uh, yeah. Speaking of the Wookiee. I am going to pull out my blades and go attack this time. Okay. Engage That's and attack. Weird. Uh, melee versus melee is difficulty too. Four successes. Uh, did you, let me actually look, okay, you did put into account your accurate. Okay. So your damage is five plus you got how many successes? Four. Five. Six. Four successes. Cool. So, so how nine, much is that? Nine damage. That's your base wow. damage plus one per success. So that's nine damage, which means that got you it. take five. I, uh, Evan stabs him on the face and kicks his... Uh, Kicks it right on the chin so that it stabs more into the blades. Okay. Um. Is it Vaughn's turn? Yes, it is Vaughn's turn. Vaughn. James. Uh, alright. Uh, Vaughn is going to draw them pistols. Mm-hmm. Still that other one over there. And... Actually... Yeah, well, that's just looking right at you. It is looking right at you. <laughs> that is... That is very true. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna drop them pistols and... Pachoo pachoo. What's the distance? Where, where do I get a distance? Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna call it medium range. And take a black die since you're using a ranged weapon and it's night in a dark forest. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, but that's two black dice then. Two black dice. Or no, it just adds one to the difficulty for two pistols, right? Yes, it adds one to the difficulty for using both no. pistols. So that's... in this case, it's difficulty three plus a black die. But you get a blue die because your pistols are accurate. Oh, wait. How 
How does two weapon fighting work in this? <laughs> uh, so you you make a uh a you build your pool based on your worst stat of the two and your worst skill of the two, assuming that they're different. You upgrade the the die pool by one or two, and then you use advantages to um activate the second weapon so you got okay. one success and two and advantages, two advantages. And i thought we need three For some reason i thought it was one it's two. Oh, perfect they perfect. both hit they both hit. Uh, so your damage on those is five. Five. And they have piercing, piercing two, two, which means they ignore two of the hide. Um, and then how many successes did you get? Just one success. One. one success. Okay, so uh, five. So six damage. Twelve damage. Minus four is eight damage. Minus four? So they've got a total of four hide then? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Um I think the one you just shot is gonna run forward and, and attack you. What that didn't it was... scare it off? It angered it. It pissed him off. Uh, oh, oh! Actually, I forgot. I was gonna ask. Can I move after shooting? Uh, you pulled out your gun, so that counts as a maneuver. Oh, uh, okay. So you can take two strain to move. Uh. Nah, I'll take this. I didn't do it in time. All right. Unlike the other one that bit this one's going in with both claws in like a little leap thing three successes one advantage um three successes so that's five six seven eight you take eight damage and okay so soak Three means I take five damage. Correct. Five yep. wounds. Ow. And it's going to add a blue die to its friend's next attack. Which Mate, doesn't actually. get a do because it's stunned. This is true. Uh, and <laughs> Well, it's staggered. So it can't take actions, but it can take maneuvers. And so for its first maneuver, it's going to disengage from y'all. And then it's going to take two strain to make a second maneuver just to run off. <clears throat> oh, you're getting sniped, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jin. I'm going to go over and go over and help a... Uh... James out. All right. Bond don't need no help. <laughs> so tonight, I had to step back because it's in 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 engaged. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, difficulty is two. I love how our ship's just in the top corner of the map. Two failures, one advantage. Yeah, so no, but you can pass your uh, bonus long to Terra. Yeah, it's I'll take it. Okie doke. Pesci. Alright, so I'm going to use my maneuver to change out my weapons to my sniper rifle. You can use a maneuver to drop a weapon. Then so, there's... Strain to... Or, I'm sorry, to pull out a weapon. So you can... You can drop a weapon for free, your sword, and pull out the sniper rifle if you like. 
That's what I wanted to do. Okay. And then, kablammo! I'm not aiming or anything, because I can't, but, you know. All right. Uh, so, let's see here. Medium range, so difficulty two, plus a black die for it being night. Okay. So, that would be... Uh, where's my... One, two, three, four, five... Uh, plus a boost, difficulty three, you say? Plus a setback. Oh, no, difficulty two. Yes. <laughs> plus a setback. All right. Three successes, one advantage. I'm not even... Yeah, that's enough. You, you, you blast into the night and... And it, I'll give the boost to the Wookiee again. Okie doke. <laughs> Wookiee, Wookiee, Wookiee. Uh, Who is a cuddly Wookiee? Who is a cuddly Wookiee? Yeah. You're in, engaging with the with the yep. gray one. Okay. Uh, attacking. All right. Two successes, two advantages, one triumph. Oof. Oof. Okay, so that's three plus your damage is five, I think. Yes. So six, seven, eight. Uh, minus four is still four, and that's twelve. All right. Yeah, you slice it in half. <laughs> that's Aww. the alpha. Wait, that's the alpha, right? No, the other one was the alpha. Oh, okay, then yeah. Um, no the alpha's also dead, so. <laughs> Okay. That that is that is that combat. So now that you get a better look at these creatures, you see like the two wide mouth and the the too many eyes. Um, it doesn't look exactly like this because this is actually a uh, cannon uh, creature, but whatever it is looks like a, a spider had a had a baby with a panther or something. Um, obviously not a normal looking animal. My leg, ow. Yeah, so I'm gonna, like, pull my shirt off wherever it clawed me, and I'm gonna hit myself with a stim pack. Okay. And then, uh, I'll grab... A med aid patch and say, uh, Pesci, come here. I will do the same. I will gladly accept a patch. Okay, so expend one med aid patch to add an automatic success, and I think that's the force symbol. Advantage. Uh, dot in the middle of like a squiggly V. Yeah. That's uh, an advantage. Yes, okay. So. And then difficulty or just roll? Uh, difficulty for. I imagine you're doing a medicine check? Yes. Um, how damaged is Pesci? Uh, I took a total of four damage. And your total wounds are. 13. So less than half. Difficulty one. So I'm going to keep that last. <laughs> Just roll the difficulty dice. Ha ha. Okay. Two success, two advantage. Uh, three three advantage. success, two advantage. Three three success, three advantage. Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't remember what you can spend advantages on for medicine, so I will look into that. Seventy. Well, I believe that's... All right. Uh, so you heal one, one wound per success, and amount of strain equal to the number of advantages. So three, three. You heal three wounds and three strain. Like three fingering my uh, my coat. Like, damn it! I liked this jacket. Okay. 
all right, I'll pick up my sword afterwards and go. Let's be a little bit more vigilant now. You uh, think maybe we scared them all off or? No. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. Come on, let's try to move a little bit quieter this time. You know, rolling stealth? I think so. What's difficulty? Um. Or is this in a post? Uh, just roll it with one difficulty. Because there's not actually anything else out there. That you know of. Zero success, one advantage. Jesus! One success, seven advantages. What can I do with seven advantages in stealth? Zero success, one threat. <laughs> it's like I'm invisible one. forever. I think you just somehow managed to find every twig. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not a, I'm a, not very ninja ninja. All right. Well, looks clear. What are you doing with the... Stop that. I'm taking the head over my head. You're taking the head? Yes, I'm putting it over my head. It's oh, now my God. helmet. God. Fuzzball, that's disgusting. That's gonna get all up yeah. in your hair and shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like... You're well, never gonna get that smell out. out. You're never gonna get that smell out. Okay, then never mind. Collect it on the way back. Damn. Oh, hey there, fridge. There is indeed a stone bridge under some faded uh, statue. And a frog. I'm going to get this frog. It's over here. Just the uh, decoration. Uh, what do you need? Agility? To catch a frog? Yes. Coordination. And you're rolling against the frog. <laughs> Where did it go? So is this the versus? Three, three or... red. Uh, three red. Three red. My model disappeared. Your model disappeared. Yes. Your model disappeared. What did you do? I <laughs> placed it over here. Oh, sorry. Around the trees where I try to move to this rock. Ah, this rock. You're in the tree. Oh. Oh, you are in the tree. Out. Yeah. The Wookiee's natural <laughs> habitat. How'd that roll come out? Yeah, <laughs> no, you do not catch the. This Wookiee escaped we, me. We, we just saw the, the stone cold captain dive for a frog. Oh, I'm the captain? Okay. <laughs> well, or whatever. I, I will gladly accept the captain. I'm just a smart ass. Oh, all right. I'm gonna poke the bridge with a stick for, or huck some like rocks over the bridge first. They sail through the air and bounce lightly as they land on the ground. Okay, I was seeing if there's booby traps. Hey, Fuzzball, why don't you head over there? Uh, sure. Anything weird over here? I mean, there's this weird stone arch. Uh, I'm just gonna poke it and then go with them as they call me Fuzzball. Okay. Yeah, actually, I was curious about that arch. Oh. Nope. I'll try to cross it. You cross the bridge. Go back in a tree. A anything interesting about said arch? Um, it doesn't look like it's carved by tools, but there's no way that that sort of thing should happen naturally. Huh. I wanted to go through it, but I didn't have the time. Maybe you will... Yeah, it, it won't actually let you go in it. I'm sure the oh, collider I mean... is. Just a box, yeah. I mean, that's a right, I'll go over then, too, if there is no booby traps. <laughs> yeah, the Wookiee did not trigger any any booby traps. And you go through the arch a couple of times, and nothing nothing happens. Okay. That you know of. We will approach the thing. 
All right, so yeah, you get to the other side of the wall, and you do notice um, uh, a, a doorway carved into the side of the... Well, not carved into, but set into the side of the cliff. Anyone know how to hack into one of these? There are, There is, oddly, no control panel. Can I, like look around and see if there's like any hatches or anything there are no hatches um it's a you know like a solid little plast or you know uh blast it's like what the shit that you would make a bunker out of but it's got the door in it and normally there you would just see a control panel or something but there yeah. seems to be no control panel can i reach out and feel in there with the force yeah you have force sense I do not. What I was force powers do you have? I have enhance. Then looks clear. Okay. Can I knock on the door? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing happens. It's a bit uh, he shrugged. Yeah. How about move? Oh no, it's a little bit zero. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out if force move would work, but no, it's only just meant for doors. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, you reach out with force move, and you do feel like this uh, uh, mechanism inside that you can trigger with your force move, and the door opens. And it's yeah. uh, it's but, a, like a. Doesn't he have to roll the white dice? Yes, you do. Why can't be white dice? <laughs> Force dice. Force dice. Roll it. Do it. Do it. Oh! Alright, so you can do it, but it will cost you one... Uh, you have to tap into the dark side to do it. Because mm -hmm. it's an evil door. <laughs> well, it is a Sith door. So yeah, no, I'll... Uh... All right, so describe, like, I mean, how are you tapping into the dark side to open this door? Like, oh, what is it? It's, you know, anger and hate and fear and mm -hmm. lust for power. Yeah, probably uh, almost like, like the lust for power or arrogance. I'm just like, I got this. Okay. Uh, yeah. It is a three by three or maybe five by five. Uh, elevator. Going down? I'm gonna step in. Yep. Yep. Women's yeah, I... wear. Okay. I will also step in. And the doors close behind you. And the elevator starts moving. And Up I think down. this Did... is... It does start moving down. Do you want us to move our pieces off? Nope. But I do think that this is a good place to take a short break uh what time is it it is almost a quarter till so why don't we take a seven minute break and come back at 10 till sounds good all right mm -hmm. this is star wars distant suns on the kobold cafe and we are back and so the doors to the elevator open after a oddly long ride down. And... Is there music? <laughs> Nothing that I can't... Oh, you're talking about elevator music. Okay. If there's not, I'm going down with... All right. So, yes, you guys are in, um, well, yeah, you, you, you see what you guys see there. Uh, no one go up there yet. <laughs> I say immediately. Yeah, that's creepy. Let's check out other rooms before we deal with that. And I haven't seen a room like this since the war. And I'm on the ceiling. And oh, oh, actually, you're on the spotlight. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, even during the war, very few people saw a room like this. Okay. This... I saw rooms like this. <laughs> well, yes, you saw you saw rooms like this. Uh, this is this is something special. I hit the boop button to open the door. All right, because I stretched this one. Yeah. Uh, the door opens, and, I mean, this is like a step back into time for Pishi. Um, this is a, a sparring dojo, you know? This is this is where you learned how to use a lightsaber. I look at the wall. Are there actually lightsabers there? Sure looks like. I'm going to grab them. Okay. Um, yeah, you activate them, and you sort of, I mean, you feel, just like when you were training, the, the hum of a lightsaber... Uh, the blades are red, surprisingly. Whoa. What the hell is that? Oh, everybody's character can be a little bit bigger. I will unthrong them and go useful, <coughs> and I'll slide them in my belt holster. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that when you were training for this... Are training with lightsabers in this sort of place? They were training blades, um, so they hurt bad, but they. Uh, but there's crystals in there, right? Not like. Um, uh, yeah, there's crystals, but. Like not full on Kyber crystals. Exactly. They uh, yeah, they're training crystals. And you don't know for a fact that these deal stun damage. They could be the regular ones. I'm just... What about that scimitar? Yeah, whatever it is, it's it's big and ugly looking, and you want it. It's, <laughs> uh, I'll grab it, and I'll see if it's actually sharpened and, oh, or a training Oh, yeah, this is not a training weapon. This is a real weapon. I'll... Point to it, uh, look at the group, and just say... <laughs> and pick it up. What would you say? Oh, this is good. <laughs> That's what he said. Well, I, I, I can... <laughs> uh, he, he basically says, oh, this is a good one. <laughs> and just grabs it. Is it a two-handed or one-handed? It is a two-handed weapon. Okay. Uh, do you have the weapon card? No. Okay. Uh, and then the other the other weapons there are basically like Boken. I'll take one of those. Just <laughs> yeah. All right. It's it's like a club, basically. Except Actually, I'll take one. Is there more than one lightsaber there? There are two. I'm taking the other one. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you'll have to ask, because I did totally throw them both, but I'll toss you one. Okay, can one. I get one of those? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um... God, the Wookiee should be so much bigger. <laughs> well, then make the Wookiee bigger. Okay. I can't. There we go. All right. So you have looted the training dojo. So... Without much interest in the training dojo, but with it being all full of, like, swords and stuff. <laughs> oh, don't go up there! Don't go up yeah, there! Yeah, so while they're they're doing that, you stand at the foot of this dais with a straight-up throne on it. Man, that's kind of creepy. As he's like starting to walk up, he yells, "No, wait, no, don't go up there!" Go ahead and uh, make me a discipline roll, difficulty three. Oh, I need you to delete those dice. So I basically got like 50-50 odds here. Except with your rolls you've been doing. One bad, failure, zero advantages. Bad things happened here. 
and you just feel this like sort of wave of cold wash over you as you get closer to this uh, uh, throne. Uh. Like I think I I reel back from that like oh oh yeah yeah no oh, I'm, I'm, that this was is fear basically. What was that? Nothing God, I wish I could good. play snippets of licensed music. <laughs> uh, guys, you might want to let me handle this one. I say it really uneasy. And why would we do that? Like, I've dealt with this before. Okay. Dealt with what like, crazy emperor throne before I'll just eye you and then walk up uh, do I need to roll discipline uh, yeah you absolutely need to roll discipline and actually I'm gonna upgrade the difficulty of your check because you know that you should be scared <laughs> uh, so one of those three dice is red for you <laughs> wow. One failure, four threats. Okay. So, kind of the same deal. Um, let me do. This is going to hurt me. Uh, the threats. What are the threats? I think stress, strain. Yeah, four <laughs> strain actually sounds perfect. But I will still go up there <laughs> and turn on the thing. Turn on the thing. Well, I'll sit in it. You're really sitting uneasy. in the in the throne. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna end badly. Um, I guess I can sing the thing. You know, you just you hear the bomb, 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 but <laughs> it really soft and just the French horn. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe trombone. But it makes the it makes the scary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now like this is. Yeah. Like... Uh, actually, maybe instead of strain, you want to give me a couple uh. Dark side points or something. Oh, I'm I'm already taking care of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm keeping track of everybody's strain here. All right. Uh, boom. 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 So if you drop the, one of the cubes on this board, it will load all of the sound effects on the cube onto the boards to make it a little easier. Okay. Yeah. So, so you, you, uh, everybody else like she looks at home as she sits on that on that throne. Um, like she looks comfortable in spite of seeming so scared. <laughs> <laughs> Not the appropriate sound. Of that Not the appropriate sound at all. We should. Do we? Was there anything specific, MacGuffin, or supposed to come find, or just? Investigate yeah, he sent you here to see what you could find because of the, you know, imperial activity over the, over mm -hmm. time. What hap? Is there like does anything boot up or anything? Um, I'll say a little, a little uh, control pad kind of flips around on the on the arm of the seat. I'll hit the button. door pops up over there yep okay so is there supposed to be a wall right here yes okay oh and a floor right here <laughs> that that did something okay good it did something yeah <laughs> Is 
Did you mean to fall over? I probably do fall over. Yeah. All right, let's see what kind of creepy ambiance I can put in here. Come on, fuzz bucket. <laughs> and Colin, I just want to mention my blaster pistol is in my hand. All right. Uh, just for adding stuff purposes, it is a training saber, right? It is absolutely a training saber. Okay. What about the big scimitar? Uh, I haven't, I haven't statted that up yet, but it is a big scimitar. Okay. <laughs> it will use melee, not brawling, though. Let's... All right. All right. Ooh, so off obelisk. to your yeah. So there's uh, the statue there. Or the obelisk, I guess. Uh, there's two doors with um, control panels to your right. There's a door here behind you, if you can't see that. And then there's something... Oh, wow, okay. Vaughn just kind of runs in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the lighting is obviously meant to highlight these items, but it is a weird-ass collection of items. Ooh, okay. What are the items? Uh. Uh, so there's a skull, and I, I don't think anybody knows except um, Evan, but that is a Wookiee skull. Mounted and, yeah. Uh, there's a pair of calipers and this helmet and these jars and then this big crystal -y thing behind it and then another mounted crystal -y thing and then this, this, you know, planetary thing and then there's an old droid over in the corner hey Vaughn, you want to see if you can get that thing booted yeah i'll give you like a uh a tap on the the top of the dome real quick i would like to grab this you would like what to grab it? that okay yeah it is sort of floating suspended in that that u-shaped thing i'll grab it all right you take four strain damage uh, okay. but the, as like something kind of keeps or slows you down as you reach for it. Uh, so you can stop or you can take another four damage and you think you can force your way in to, uh, oh, actually make a resilience check. Well, uh, I don't have this, right? Uh, it's still zero. So it's only four. You, yeah, you only take four. Uh -huh. Resilience and... is three. Uh, difficulty, difficulty is uh, two. If that is a real lightsaber again, dibsies. One success, one. Yeah, so you take the additional four, uh, four strain damage, but you do manage to grab this uh, this lightsaber. This one is very ornate. It is um. Uh, you know, they're all handmade, but this one has, um, oh God, what is the, what is their, their gold? Um, a rhodium, a rhodium, mm -hmm. which is just rhodium plus auric, which is the Latin name for gold. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's got like a rhodium filigree and it's very pretty. I... Don't push the button, don't push the button. <laughs> As you say you push the button, he turns, looks at you, looks at the sword, and then pushes the button. Uh, <laughs> of course, not aiming to his chest in any sort of way. <laughs> sure. Like, uh, the blade is a very vibrant uh, purple color, almost the same color as an amethyst. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, he likes it. Retract that. Retract that. Uh, this, James, the droid is out of power. Oh, okay. Here it I, it. I will plug it in. Did did the Emperor keep Windu's fucking lightsaber? Probably. Probably. Uh, Fuzzball, why don't you give that to me so you don't accidentally cut your arm off? He lightly shakes his head. How about this one? I'll give you this one, and it won't cut your arm off. He shakes his head. He looks at how much he uh, his arm is strained from grabbing it. 
Yeah, I think like there's maybe even like some singed hair and smoke raising off of your arm. So he's just gonna pocket it for now. Uh, he gives you like a motion for it later, just in case it does it again. <laughs> what do you say? Look over it. Tom, there. Oh. He said, "Just do it, just in case it, the strain happens again." I think is what he said. I will risk it. All right. The droid comes to life. Um, it is an R1 astromech droid. It is um, very old. Um, the R1s were already sort of obsolete at the... Well, okay, the R2s were, were top of the line, or, or at least new... 10 years before the Clone Wars started. Okay. So this is this thing has been obsolete for decades. But, um... Yeah, you know, it, it, it hops on its one little foot. Thonk. 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 And it, it, it greets you as, um... I don't think it calls you Master. Maybe Sir. Uh, the, the binary it speaks isn't, isn't pops and whistles either. It's... Okay. Hey, R1. It looks like it's looking for for something or someone as it you know kind of scans around. Was there some kind of call sign that I know of? Call sign? Ah, no, like an imperial callback sign for droids authentication password kind of thing oh i mean that would be that would that would vary there's nothing okay you you looking for someone buddy would does would it have you... a restraining hold on it oh i'm sorry it does not okay um would you like me to prepare a meal for you no, I'm good. Shall I open the cells? Cells? What cells? And he kind of shithunk. 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 And it shithunks its way over here to this control pad. I, I will follow him. And it, it does something at this control pad, and these two doors open up into red lit rooms chains hanging from the ceiling um you get a sense of foreboding even just looking in or oh, you're going uh, into it or just runs in oh uh no, I, I i actually thought i had to put myself in there to see in no nope. but... uh one of them has go to a weird angle human or human like bones inside Man, I really don't like this place. Seriously, big guy. Give me the saber. Uh, I say you notice? Really, oh, sorry, really uneasy, and I, I say really uneasy, and, like, my eyes are darting around, and I'm starting to, like, not hyperventilate, but breathing really quick. Hmm. What do I need to roll to insight in this way, uh, game? To insight into what? I'm sorry. He wants it's, to psychologically. Yeah, I want to see her motives. Is she being like, uh, "Give me the saber because of power," or "Give me the saber because I have a bad feeling about this"? Um, uh, I, 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 oh, you said it. You said it. Yeah, you <laughs> did say it. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Uh, leadership, discipline, deception, coordination. So I think it's going to be. I'm not trying to hide my motives. Yeah, so then you don't even need I'm, to roll. Like It's literally fear and anxiety and like not that I want it. It's more like you probably get the feeling that I, it's a defense mechanism almost. Uh, he'll 
touch it in his pocket to see first if he gets another strain. If not, he'll hand it over. Yeah, you do not receive any strain in touching the lightsaber. He'll hand it over and say... Thank Just you, don't buddy. <laughs> hey, you really want one of those lightsaber things. No, I just think something is in here, and then I will, um, like, actually, is it, it's a standard lightsaber? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you say something is in here, he's gonna poke your shoulder and then point towards this door, as if maybe there. Hey, R1. Uh, uh, are we the only people in here? Can, can you... Um, which translates to you are currently the only uh, creatures within my uh, field of view. Okay, thanks, buddy. That's that's helpful. That's super helpful. Hey, so what is this place? This is your private retreat. Oh, yes, yes it is. Hey, uh, so, where do I keep the treasure? <laughs> um, the, the room currently to your right holds some of your most valued possessions. The room currently to my right? Uh, this prison cell? Oh. No, this room. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, do you by chance, R1, have any of these, uh, uh, items cataloged? Could you, could you run me through again what they are? Uh, you have never given me that information. Great. Do you know if I might have wrote it down anywhere? Um, I am not aware of any written records. However, I am not allowed inside of your quarters. And where are those quarters again? The entrance is off of the uh, treasure room, currently to your Great. right. Great. Take me to them, if you would. Like, go open that door. All right. He shithunks, shithunks, shithunks his way over here. Great, buddy. Thanks. Oh, shit. Is that a holocron? All right. Um, this is another very scary room. Before we go on, uh, can I pocket the Wookiee school to bury it later? Yeah. I take the Wookiee school. It, Colin, is that a holocron? Uh, yeah, that is absolutely a holocron. Oh, shit. <laughs> How big? Is it that actually that big, or is it like a pocket size? It's, it's the normal size. Okay. I will nab it. Uh, go ahead and make me a difficulty three discipline roll. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Do I take strain? What happens? Yeah, you're going to take three strain. And you cannot bring yourself to touch it. Uh. And I think everybody else sees this too. Like, she goes to touch it and then almost, like, visibly recoils in terror. I don't think I do. I immediately go to these books. I'm looking to see if I can find his journals or something. Uh, what did I see what was this? Not one of these books is in basic or any other language that you've ever seen. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. What is it? It appears to be some sort of mechanism or machine 
but you've never seen anything like it. So it's a mannequin. <laughs> it's not a mannequin. It's a oddly well carved uh, statue. Can I grab one of these things? No, it's like a whole big thing. Oh, okay, so there's stuff. Uh, you know what? I think there's somebody at my door, and I don't know where my wife is, so pardon me for just a moment. You need to check that room. We need to get prepared for a fight. All right. Yes, yeah. my wife is there. Okay. Um, Jin. I'm going to try again. Oh, good, Jin. Do you want to try for this thing that you... Ask her what it is. What is it? We need it. <laughs> okay. All right. So make a difficulty three discipline roll. Wow, that thing is really up there. I think the scale's just a bit off. Can we, like, do it together? Well, we'll see after his his attempt here. I know I saw it. <laughs> but we don't know about it. Two success, but three threats. Okay. Um, so take three strain, but you are able to grab the device, mm -hmm. and um, it almost feels alive, like it's moving under your under your hand as you grab it. Don't. Pay much too attention to it. Put it put it in, in my bag. I'll open up my backpack. Alright. What Man, I wonder what's that? in the Emperor's wardrobe. <laughs> um Black cloaks. And actually there are some, some other other clothes there. Um, you know, kind of, kind of nice-looking clothes that would fit somebody much smaller than you. Huh? Hey, Colin, yes. I still haven't picked my second language yet. Could, uh, what would have been something that would have been taught to me? I'm just drawing a blank. Oh God, I don't know. I think I should do it before anything. Would it be Sith or? No, I mean I don't think anybody still yeah. spoke that language. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to it, and I'll think about it in between sessions. I was just wondering. What would I have to roll to see if I can interact with this uh, by taking time? I'm not sure if that could give me a bonus or something. Um, Mechanics. Roll... I only have two greens. Okay, well, roll two greens and two purples. Hmm. Could I take some time to get a no. small bonus? I, I, don't, I don't think you're going to learn anything new about this machine by, by staring at it. Poking might work. One success, three trick. Oh, shit. I do succeed somehow. I'm not sure what the fuck I did. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely not sure what the fuck you did. But it looks like it's trying to... Um, so there, there's a, a spot kind of in the, in the middle there where it wants to, like, grab something and it tries to interact there. And then... Um, you feel like I actually everybody else feels like bad energy kind of like flowing between the two sides of this thing. But um Is that a lightsaber station? What whatever it is, it stops after a second. Yeah, guys, let's grab the stuff out of the treasure room and go. I, I, I wanna see what's in the Emperor's nightstand. And, and then I open the Emperor's nightstand. I'm not going to be specific, 
but it would be called a personal amusement device. <laughs> uh, is it insertable? I told you I wasn't going to be specific. <laughs> all right. Out of all the things here, what can I fit in my bag? Of all the things in the treasure room, what can you fit in your bag? Um, the helmet. Helmet. The calipers, maybe. Hey, which are the hey, calipers? Hey guys, it looks like the things. emperor was a bit lonely. And you I'm... could probably get the 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 jars. Uh, but right. you're going to have to give me a roll for each of these. I will go for the helmet. Uh, when Baron says that, he's just going <laughs> to... Is it three again, or is it two? Uh, two. Oh, uh, when I activated the machine, did something came up? Did something look different? Did something flipped, or something now looks like, oh, it's now glowing and ready? Not, not visually. Zero. Zero successes. Yeah, so you cannot grab that helmet. Like, whatever it is, is utterly terrifying. Hey, hey R1, come with me. Yes, Master. I'm going to try one more time. Okay. Ugh. One more stress. Yep. Uh, What are you trying to do? Fuzzball, get in here. Grab, th grab that helmet. Grab uh, the jars, and let's get out of here. That... Uh, okay, we'll grab them. Yeah, they look really creepy, and you don't really necessarily want to grab them. <laughs> what do I need to roll? You don't need to roll anything. You can do it. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, does any of them smell good? Any of the jars? No. No. <laughs> uh, they do think smell discovered. Smell it, shake his head, and then just put it on the back. Is there any robes or anything in here? <laughs> any robes in the wardrobe? <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. What are you looking at? Where's Jen? I'm in here. I'm going to go to the wardrobe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are robes, and there are, like, his senatorial costume. Anything here? The shelf. Yeah, I mean, just random, like, little... Um, sundries, food, oh, okay. water, that sort of thing. How yeah, about this? Al is that this alchemical chemical, chemical shelf? Yeah, I mean, weird jars of liquids oh, and things. I didn't saw this before. Uh, I'll take the dagger. For fuck's sake! Okay, fine. You have the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Vaughn, what are you doing over there, buddy? What is Vaughn doing over where? God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Va Vaughn had... Or one follow him over here. Open this door. Tonk. Ha, there's that floor. There's that floor, but then there's this oh. whole other thing. How about that? There we go. Does my heart stop? hell is this room um i don't think you actually recognize this tara i mean you might know what it is but you don't recognize it okay what oh the... this is a bad place we need to go we need to go what? right now what is this place we need to go i'm going i i i you could use your word <laughs> all right yeah here. <laughs> all right all right let's go r1 follow us R1 is not fast, me. so it's thakonk. 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 Do I smell anything here? Do you smell anything where? In there? Yeah. In the lots of chemicals. Um, traces of blood, like old blood, but mostly like weird chemicals. So nothing good. Turning around. <laughs> oh shit, there's Revan. <laughs> Can I close it? The door? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll close it and then just follow the rest. Okay. Yeah, so obviously you walk back into the, the throne room and you do see a masked figure standing at the doorway. Hey buddy. 
Can we help you? Who are you? Uh, the voice comes out kind of like Kylo Ren's in that, you know, it's obviously there's some sort of a, a speaker voice distorter built Much into later. the mask. Yeah. Okay. Which, did I ever get a number? No. Nah. Oh, we're just some fans of the Emperor. I'm the 12th sister. Or the 17th sister or something like that. What? He also says. And what are you doing here? We're working for the stage, trying to. Checking the facilities. In, in what state are the facilities? Unop unoperational. Good. Takes a step forward. <laughs> I would suggest dis uh, destroying the systems inside uh, they could be repaired. That's why I'm here. And uh, the figure reaches into its robe and pulls out the pair of lightsabers that you see there. <laughs> Does he whoosh him up? No, not yet. I'm giving him a very wide berth. Excellent brother. Don't call me that. Yes, sir. Figure looks at you for a second. Do you not know me? Do I? No, but you're a little weirded out by that question. I do. I, I'm going to say I do not, sir. Tell your friends to stand aside. Everyone, come on. Over here. Uh, now he ignites his lightsabers. And um, assumes a, a, a fighting stance that you, you recognize as like a, uh, a dueling stance from your time in the, in the dojos. So, but he's not making an attack yet right no but he's looking at you expectantly oh shit like all right <laughs> i pop the saber uh which one the purple one or the red one? The purple, the purple one. He's probably going to get really pissed about that. But I'm I've been got my sword. I'm not using a training saber against him. <laughs> um, he takes a step back and he's like, I told you to have your friends step aside. Buzz bucket. This way. I'll take the, sword, the big sword and I just slowly move towards the group. Pretty sure the bookie has a name. <laughs> it's his nickname for her. Hmm. So are, are are we all grouping up, or should I stay back here and take cover? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you're off to the side. I think I think we are just kind of doing the circling thing. Please attack me. Why would I wish to do what? that, sir? I want to see how far you've come. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess it's combat time. Initiative. Just you. Unless everybody Just... else is piling in. Wookie would have liked that. He'll get on the way. I... You know, without knowing what's going on. Oh, I forgot to pull the card out on this board. <laughs> I... I don't have 
Hey, R1. It's Harry, cool. Yeah. I got uh, this in the bucket. Oh, where the fuck did I go? Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, over there. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not going to bother finding that card. I guarantee you I'll just be able to find it on the... Um... I always wonder if Mace Windows lightsaber would give you like a surprise or something. <laughs> It makes you smooth. Oh, and plus one to the Jedi console. <laughs> there we go. And I think... Oh, yeah, there's no way I would have spelled that first name correctly. Okay. Okay. Um, cool is two yellows and a green. I really wish I would have spent my points on Perry. Two successes, two advantages, one triumph. Oh, that's for his, uh... Yes. This his turn? Two successes, two advantages, and then a triumph means that uh, he goes first. Okay. And what'd you roll for your uh, cool? I did not roll it, sorry. Clear. He's gonna go first. Yes. I can guarantee you that. Two successes. Two, two. Actually. Uh, he goes first, but only because of that triumph. All right. Um, so you both like take that step forward at the exact same time, but his um one of his lightsabers comes at yours first. And uh, one, two, three, four, yellow and a green. One, two, three, four, yellow and a green. And difficulty is two. The kitten has discovered the mouth, the pointer. Three successes, the three exam uh, advantages, one triumph. Yeah, so you're, uh, he, he's gonna, he attacks high with one, and when you take the bait and go to parry the, the one coming up high, the second lightsaber comes swinging around um, towards your midriff, but uh, he deactivates it uh, before it slices you in it. half. And so he, he just showed me he would have murdered me. Yeah, he taps the the deactivated lightsaber like against your midsection and steps back, activates it again, and assumes the the stance. So now. Go ahead and... My turn? Yep. All right, so this is a... I get to use this for the first time. Wait, 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 wait. Where's, where's... Combat skills are over here. Okay. So I'm actually pretty good at this. Yeah. Uh, what is the difficulty? Uh, uh, how many levels of adversary... Uh, two reds. Two reds, yikes. Zero successes, Success. one triumph. Yeah. Uh, are you dealing damage? Uh, no. Okay. I'm, but I will, uh, use that triumph for a stun, like stagger. I don't think you can stagger them. Upgrade the difficulty of his next check. Um, do something vital such... Oh. I know what you do. You smash his mask. Or knock it off somehow. Yeah. And he is actually a she. And somehow she looks almost exactly like you. And she kind of, you know, she does that look over the shoulder and, and smile... <laughs> Kitten keeps attacking the TV screen, trying to get to the figurines. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, the tattoos are different and more complex on her, but otherwise she looks exactly like Pishi. Are we still fighting, or is that it? It's up to you. I will get in a defensive stance. Okay. Ooh, just one success and no advantages. Um, I think you're going to take one strain. Uh, down to three strain. <laughs> As he's heading to the door. <laughs> he's got the right idea there. Good job. No, there. no, R1's down. <laughs> Go on, Jim. I'll back uh, I'll back. I suggest everyone else do the same thing. <laughs> Alright, my turn. Yeah. Although I'm actually gonna uh start leading this direction. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a, because, I mean, you'd have to, like, disengage for a maneuver. Like, basically to not be in melee with her. Oh, oh, I wanted, I wanted to still be in melee, but I just kind of wanted to... Yeah. She around. wants to shift the direction of... So, roll, um, Deception. Deception. This is not good. Uh, difficulty? Difficulty is... Three reds. <laughs> I'm gonna fail! So yeah, you stay pretty much right where you are in your fight. Alright, but that was just for my... um movement now now you want the actual yep two successes five advantage but a despair oof no damage again okay like, I'm doing the classic sparring thing. Yeah. Well, so is she. Um, the despair. She kicks me on the ground. <laughs> the tool or melee weapon the character is using becomes damaged. Um, I actually think that... She takes it from you. Could I try something? Cuts it in half, maybe. No, like, there's a kick, and she ends up, like, holding your lightsaber. Well, Mace's lightsaber. I need that! Uh, Eva, you wanted to try something? Yes. That thing is mine. Uh, I want to try and tackle him. Either to retrieve it or to just tackle him and have the lightsaber drop. Uh... Yeah, okay. Go ahead, but she's not going to pull any punches with you. We liked this Wookiee. We liked this Wookiee. <laughs> Rip. Uh, melee versus melee is difficulty two, but adversary two. So upgrade the difficulty twice. So that's two reds. Okay, I'm just gonna brawl, no weapons. Mm hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, no, wait, that's. What I'm trying to do is either get the lightsaber or just kind of like push her away, drop the lightsaber, grab it, and run away. I'll give you that roll. One success, three advantages, one, one despair. One despair. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah, you get Windows Lightsaber back, 
but she is startled when you come at her, and she does, um, she does, like, counterattack as you're, as you're coming, and you are going to take a lightsaber hit. Go on. Um. Me thinks this gonna hurt. Yeah. Nine Very. damage. Breach one, so it, uh, it ignores ten soak. Uh, that's zero. And uh, nine full. Nine, nine damage, yes. Okay. Uh, he screams. But he has the saber. Uh, and secures it as on his person. Uh, wiki. Not person. <laughs> Alright, she is hey, pissed. Wookie, we'll your people. She's like, so that's the way it is then. I'm gonna yell, No! And I think she's going to attack the Wookiee. Uh, can I start blasting on her from the elevator? I think it's, uh, what do you call it? Um. Well, no, but I mean, I, I didn't want to interrupt, but I've been hanging out in that elevator, but I totally would have been, like, Just ready with those pistols. Deflect. Yeah, it can happen kind of simultaneously with this attack, but this attack is going to happen. Yeah, no, I, I, I figure that, but... If nothing else, I want to give her a black dice. Oh, no, it'll just be a separate attack. She's not really even paying attention to you. Uh, all right, and difficulty is two for melee versus melee. And roll. Two successes, four advantages. Uh, yeah, so I think you're going to take another 9 damage and suffer a critical hit. Do I not get any sort of defense? No, that's the the difficulties. That ah. is the difficulties. I am um, with, uh, 4 HP left? Yeah, and you're taking the critical, so let's do a d10 and a percentile. And roll. And that is 88 Ooh, compromise. Increase the difficulty of all skill checks by one until the end of the encounter. And it's an average, so it's going to be two difficulty two to heal this difficult or this. All right, uh, James, go ahead and make and your I attack. I think it's initiative time after that. Yeah, if you guys are laying into her. You mind if I get away from before we go into initiative? I think we're already in initiative. No, really mind. hoping we were all gonna pile into that elevator. Right, that's what I was trying to get you guys to do. <laughs> yep. I know, but I don't want to lose the lightsaber. Well, you have the I lightsaber. Are you happy? You and your four yes. hit points. Are you happy? No. <laughs> <laughs> she was gonna give it back to me. Right. I, I guess we'll never know. I mean, I feel like the answer is yes. All right, and difficulty is oh, my uh, two reds. She's short. Oh, one red. No, one red and one purple. Oh, uh, wait, wait, sorry. Oh, you're only shooting with one, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, no successes, one advantage, though. You can give a blue die to somebody. I'll even let you pick two. Who, since you haven't officially rolled initiative. I will give it to the Wookiee, who... Might die. Runs away. Might die. <laughs> <laughs> I have plans. Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you guys one last chance to just leave... And Much otherwise, can, we're getting can into I, the... Can I, like, whistle at this point? Like, get in! Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting in the elevator. I, Ev? I will... Getting in? Okay. I'm gonna get in, too, but at the same time, uh... Like, stare at her for that. 
thing and then I'm gonna say like give her a look over the shoulder as the door closes yeah she stands there looking at you or watching you no I think they're inside the elevator yeah there we are as the door closes all right what were you doing you fuzzy idiot dude you don't interrupt you don't interrupt a duel We're lucky. I, I get the feeling that that girl was toying with us, and I feel like we are very fortunate about that. Mm. I got a weird, cold feeling off of her. Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I don't say that because it's already been said. Yeah, you only say it once per episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it was per like story arc. <laughs> okay, so you guys ride the thing back up to the to the surface. Give that back, or there might be more. He does give it back to you. There are no more. Uh, the there is a. Um, some sort of a high-tech starfighter that you don't immediately recognize kind of parked near-ish, like within visual range at least, of the Cuddly Bantha, but not not next to the Cuddly Bantha as you guys are walking back to your ship. Walking? I think this is a full-on run, 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 run. <laughs> it's hard for the Wookiee to run right now. Oh, okay. I, uh, <laughs> and we got a hopping droid. Oh, yeah, he does not go fast at all. Once you get up there, I just punch the... Is there, is there controls inside the elevator? Yes. Once you get to the top, I just... <laughs> try to, you know, break the elevator a bit. Okay. Uh, Go ahead and... Roll me a brawl. Difficulty... Uh, red and a purple, because you're punching a wall. <laughs> Can do. Yeah, um, do you... Threat. Pull your hand out of the control panel. <laughs> There's a shower of sparks. <laughs> That'll be slower a bit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so you get back into the jungle. Hop, hop, hop through the woods to the cuddly bantha. <laughs> you see uh, the sage sort of sitting at the dining room table where you left him a couple hours ago. Like, I so. think we should have brought him... Yeah. I am immediately running up to the uh, what do you call the bridge and taking off. Okay. <laughs> All the stuff we had to show the sage is in your backpack, I think. But <laughs> yeah. You showing him everything? Uh, once we uh, get into hyperspace, just going to a, another system. Sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, almighty giant sage. <laughs> yeah, I will show it to him. Everything? Just want to make sure that there's nothing that, that nobody is, like, reserving. Oh, uh... The Wookiee will be played with a dagger at the very end, but he will put it at the, uh, at the pile of loot, uh, especially after feeling this bad. Okay. I I'm leaving the saber on my belt. Hey, hey R1. What's my name again? You are Lord Sidious. <laughs> and you've never heard that before, that name. No, but... <laughs> me my is, face is it was even lighter pig. green. I'm sorry, Tara, what did you say? My face goes lighter green. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Wait, I thought I was the emperor. Hmm. No, I, I I say that back to R one. Uh, uh, I don't think he even knows what an emperor is. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, he's poor programming. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. So you sit down with the sage and you just dump everything out on the table. No, carefully put everything on the table. And then I, as the, as the holocron goes on the table, uh, the holocron, I'll put it out. Even the Wookiee head. Maybe you don't even touch it. You like. That's no, the I'm last need thing, and you open that thing. All right. So yeah, he looks impressed with like the things that you found, but like you pull out the holocron, and his eyebrows go up. Maybe just one eyebrow because he's so scarred on on that other side of his face. He's like, <laughs> he's you, only got one eyebrow. Do you know what you found here? Yes. No. This is an ancient holocron. It's a, a a mixture of technology and um and and force power and um uh, uh, a- ancient Jedi and or ancient force users were able to um to put their their consciousnesses or a copy of their consciousnesses in them to help teach future generations I'm gonna sigh and go it does this and open it uh you don't immediately know how to open it because everyone kind of opens differently so yeah let me pop back over here whoops Okay, so we know up to the 12th brother. Cool. I'll be the 17th sister. All right. Oh, yeah, and about that, what, what is that whole 17th sister deal? I feel like maybe it's time you open up a little bit. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'm trying to I say with my hand over the thingy, struggling. Uh, gear and equipment. Uh, rarity, weapon descriptions, armor, gear. As they are doing the equipment and he, uh, everyone feels a little bit better, he's going to tap on your shoulder, uh, Pesci, and he's going to see Wookiee that you got to show me how to fight like that. She uh, doesn't speak Wookiee. No, I know, but he's still going <laughs> to say that without Time even knowing that. Buzz bucket. <laughs> I'm still struggling <laughs> to open the thing. All right, so you need to make a difficulty three uh, lore check. Ugh. Of course it's lore. Of course it's lore. Come on, don't screw me over here. Screwed me over again. Yeah, so you do not know how to open it. I'll try again later. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna grab some medical supplies and do what I can to our, for our bleeding friend. Uh, the sage is actually willing to take care of that. Oh, okay. Uh, what did I say? His medicine was, um, what's his name? Oh, yeah. Hmm? The regular lightsaber does, uh, the Inquisitor Blade does way less damage than the regular lightsaber. Yeah? What's it do? 
uh, 10 damage versus the double bladed uh, Inquisitors is a 6. You get the energy going to two blades. Yeah. It does, yeah, it's true. The, the double bladed has way more, like, snazzy things that it can do. All right, it, uh, he is able to clear your, uh, uh, your critical injury, and you heal six damage. All right, so he kind of looks over some of the other things, and he's like, there are some... Some ancient relics here that I will have to spend more time with um, to to fully grasp their their power uh, or to grasp their significance. We'll say. Um, and he looks at the Wookiee skull and he's like, "I don't I don't even know what the hell this is." He's like, "As for this." He, he kind of, you know, he holds it in his hand and spins it. So it is, since it is a pyramid, you know, it it's not, never quite sure which way is pointing up. He's like, as as for this, um, James, he tosses it to you. He's like, this, uh, if you spend some time with it, might be able to uh, continue to help you grow in your power and ability. I make the uneasiest of faces. I'll, like, hold it up and tuck it in a pocket. Like, I'll do that. That's Lord Sidious's holocron. He might not want to learn from that. He he looks at you and he's like, it's a repository of knowledge. Nothing else. Knowledge is good. Knowledge gets you through through the fights. Sometimes with enough knowledge, you don't even have to fight. He's like, indeed. If you have the ability to, to win the fight without ever ever taking the field, then then truly um, you have become the, the most powerful of, of warriors. See, and I like that. This guy knows how to, to, to pull the right strings with me. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take that training saber and hand it to the Wookiee and say, this one won't cut your arm off. Yeah, I know, but I don't want you to die because of this other one. <laughs> he takes it. All right. Um, where are you guys heading? I just went the other direction than we went before. Okay. So back, to, back onto the hyperspace lane. Back towards back towards civilization, basically. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that is a good ending point. Um, there's definitely some things to unpack and, and some, some things to kind of look at in the future. But short term, yeah. Uh, you had two training sabers, did you not? Uh, I do believe Tom has the other one. Tom ended up with one, and Ever now has one. You have... It is Mace Windu's lightsaber. Yeah, I just want the crystal. <laughs> I feel it! <laughs> Wait, what? No! Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you said purple, and I was like, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I bet the emperor was pissed. That's his little trophy. I I'm glad I took that strain for it. Well, it we, was can, worth it. we can keep the handle. Like no, the I mean, it's a relic weapon. You do not break the weapon, the relic weapon, to make a normal weapon. Yeah, you're not just taking the batteries out. Like you are disassembling it. Yeah. But I think All you're right. probably also the only one who understands. So. You tell me. Are uh, you going to pull the crystal out of Mace Windu's lightsaber to put it in your inquisitorial lightsaber? 
No. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'll think about it. Okay, let me let me know the decision that you make. You, you, you spend a week staring at a lightsaber while I spend a week trying to figure out how the fuck to open this goddamn triangle thing. What the hell am I supposed to do with this thing? Uh, the Wookiee spends a week turning the lightsaber on and off and training with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's your bro? Actually, you you're not terrible with it. You it are... does say that if you don't have this skill, it is extremely dangerous. I'm reading the lightsaber. Yes. Yeah. Uh, threats and but failures can can be dangerous for you for sure. He's putting aside the other blades and he's using the training saber as he's uh, on the cargo hold with the. Uh... Just waving it around and making sure he doesn't cut himself. And uh, as you guys all go off on your own, and he said they wanted to specifically ask me about things, I go, uh, you know, uh, suspiciously with no answers. I didn't leave. <laughs> like, uh, it sounded like James walked off with a holocron, and the Wookiee walked yeah. off with his two saber, <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like, I'm like, so what was that about? <laughs> what was that about? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to go over here. See you. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's roll some morality. Yeah, I'm going to get all the dark side points. Uh, here is a D10. I think a lot of people are going to get some dark side points. Do I get morality this... No, start. you do not because you are not a force user. Oh, nine. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny because you can do whatever you want, you know, and not get the <laughs> bad force. Uh, who just rolled? James. James. James is Vaughn. Uh, you said you rolled a nine. Yep. Nine. Wow. Okay, you actually gain three light side points. Whoa. Jin, you want to go next? Yeah, what, what am I rolling? Sorry. Roll that D10. It's kind of on the end of the table. I'm still lost. All right, there we go. Seven, you gain four light side points. Okay. This is Sarah. Nine. Two, three. Uh, you said three, right? Yes. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You gain two light side points. Really? Wow. That is shocking. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we're doing all this dark side stuff with really good intentions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, I mean, to be fair, I'm starting to get a little closer to light side than I actually want to be. Yeah, I bet. Uh, so we're going to do... Um, this was... We're going to do 10 experience, but I'm actually going to give Ever 15 for... His his role playing of the Wookiee diving into combat with the obvious like recurring villain level uh, <laughs> dark side force user and he knew that might be a bad idea so uh, ever gets fifteen experience everybody else will get ten and I'm gonna start awarding extra little five XP blocks for um, particularly self destructive in character moments not self destructive but like in character to the point of of hurting hurting the game even if if that makes sense mm -hmm. <laughs> so everybody else gets 10 10 experience uh all right so did, did you pay us at all for that no 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 all right all right so that was this sort of second uh episode of the week for star wars distant suns 
catch us tomorrow for another one. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea how long it takes me to pull these maps together? I understand. That was a joke. <laughs> I think we broke ever all right uh yeah so join us th next thursday and generally every thursday night at what we call kst or kobold standard time uh what, what is that uh five on the east coast or five on the west coast oh, of the west united coast. states eight on the east coast uh Something like that. somewhere in between for the between the coasts uh we're online we have the koboldcafe.com on Twitter at Cobalt Cafe, uh, you're probably watching this through Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Cobalt Cafe. Uh, oh, YouTube. Um, we don't we don't rate a vanity URL on YouTube, alas. No. No. Because we need more of you to like and subscribe, baby. All right. Uh, joining us tonight for this uh, ominous episode. Uh, in order of the n amount of light side or dark side points that they should have gotten, we have Tara. Hey, I'm Pishi, the seventeenth sister. And James. Hey, I'm James. The I don't know what I am at this point. I don't know what you got are a lot either. of paths. Got a lot of paths going on. And Tom. Tom, um, I'm could continue to be the uh, first using martial artist. And Everoth, who is the only one that was not able to gain force or morality one way or the other. Soon, my friend. Soon, the Wookiee might. 